Ibn al-Haytham, the man who discovered how we see. Ibn al-Haytham was born in 965 to a family of Arab or Persian origin in Basra, Iraq, which was at the time part of the Bayad Emirate. He was a medieval mathematician, astronomer, and physicist of the Islamic Golden Age from present day Iraq. Referred to as the father of modern optics, he made significant contributions to the principles of optics and visual perception in particular. His most influential work is titled Kitab al-Manazir, Book of Optics, written during 1011 to 1021, which survived in a Latin edition. His initial influences were in the study of religion and service to the community. At the time, society had a number of conflicting views of religion that he ultimately sought to step aside from religion. This led to him delving into the study of mathematics and science. He held a position with the title vizier in his native Basra and made a name for himself on his knowledge of applied mathematics. As he claimed to be able to regulate the flooding of the Nile, he was invited to meet the Fatimid Caliph al-Hakim in order to realize a hydraulic project at Aswan. Born in Basra, he spent most of his productive period in the Fatimid capital of Cairo and earned his living authoring various treatises and tutoring members of the nobilities. Ibn al-Haytham is sometimes given the byname al-Basri after his birthplace, or al-Misri the Egyptian. Al-Haytham was dubbed the second Ptolemy by Abu al-Hazan Bayhaqi and the physicist by John Peckham. Ibn al-Haytham paved the way for the modern science of physical optics. Ibn al-Haytham was an early proponent of the concept that a hypothesis must be supported by experiments based on confirmable procedures or mathematical evidence, an early pioneer in the scientific method five centuries before Renaissance scientists. On account of this, he is sometimes described as the world's first true scientist. He was also a polymath, writing on philosophy, theology, and medicine. Ibn al-Haytham was the first to explain that vision occurs when light reflects from an object and then passes to one's eyes, and to argue that vision occurs in the brain, pointing to observations that it is subjective and affected by personal experience. Upon his return to Cairo, he was given an administrative post. After he proved unable to fulfill this task as well, he contracted the ire of the Caliph al-Hakim and is said to have been forced into hiding until the Caliph's death in 1021, after which his confiscated possessions were returned to him. Legend has it that Al-Hazan feigned madness and was kept under house arrest during this period. During this time, he wrote his influential book of optics. Al-Hazan continued to live in Cairo, in the neighborhood of the famous University of Al-Azhar, and lived from the proceeds of his literary production until his death in 1040. A copy of Apollonius Conix, written in Ibn al-Haytham's own handwriting exists in Hagia Sophia. In mathematics, Al-Hazan built on the mathematical works of Euclid and Thabit ibn Khur and worked on the beginnings of the link between algebra and geometry. He developed a formula for summing the first 100 natural numbers, using a geometric proof to prove the formula. Al-Hazan discovered the sum formula for the fourth power, using a method that could be generally used to determine the sum for any integral power. He used this to find the volume of a paraboloid. He could find the integral formula for any polynomial without having developed a general formula. Alhazen made significant contributions to optics, number theory, geometry, astronomy, and natural philosophy. Alhazen's work on optics is credited with contributing a new emphasis on experiment. His main work, Kitab al-Manazir Book of Optics, was known in the Muslim world mainly, but not exclusively, through the 13th century commentary by Kamal al-Din al-Farisi. A Latin translation of the Kitab al-Manazir was made probably in the late 12th or early 13th century. This translation was read by and greatly influenced a number of scholars in Christian Europe including Roger Bacon, Robert Grossetest, Wittolo, John Battista della Porta, Leonardo da Vinci, Galileo Galilei, Christian Huygens, Ren Descartes, and Johannes Kepler. The impact crater El Hazen on the moon is named in his honor, as was the asteroid 59,239 Al Hazen. In honor of Al Hazen, the Aga Khan University Pakistan named its ophthalmology endowed chair as the Ibn Haytham Associate Professor and Chief of Ophthalmology. Al Hazen, by the name Ibn Al Haytham, is featured on the obverse of the Iraqi 10,000 Atinar banknote issued in 2003 and on 10 Atinar notes from 1982. 
The 2015 International Year of Light celebrated the 1000th anniversary of the works on optics by Ibn al-Haytham. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel.